Imagine making two and a half grand in just a couple of hours and over a million per year. This is a video about the most lucrative betting strategy ever because the people using it quite literally can't lose. It's been happening for over two decades all around the world on almost every sport, creating heaps of millionaires and bankrupting several bookmakers in the process. I've met a few of the people doing this and seen their betting statements with my own two eyes. For American sports bettors, this strategy is about to get very real as the first online betting exchanges will go live in the States this year. And even without an exchange, it's a great strategy to legitimately nick a few quid off the bookies. To understand why and where this strategy works, you need to know how scores are reported on sporting events. I'll explain in more depth than ever before, show the equipment used, and finish up with a live example. So it works like this. When a goal is scored, a horse crosses the finish line, or a player scores a point in tennis, it's electronically recorded at the side of the event. The information is then transmitted to data services that power apps like Flash Score and bookmaker services like Bet365 and William Hill. As they receive the information, they update their in-play betting odds. Now, betting exchange users are betting against one another, so the exchange temporarily suspends some of the markets and places a bet placement delay in an attempt to make the situation fairer. However, nothing in life's fair and there's a lot on the line to exploit here. As Joe mentioned in a BBC special a few years back. So we go around the world trying to find slow umpires. <laughs> so That's it. Which is where this betting strategy comes in because betting on something that has already happened ahead of everyone else is a pretty big advantage. It doesn't matter if the event has finished yet either because it's possible to bet at the previous betting prices and then cash out at the current price to lock in a profit. If you're not familiar with cash out, think of it as selling your bet back to the marketplace at its current price. The catch with this strategy being, we already know what's happened and where the price is gonna move, but there are many different angles and ways to do this. So let's go a little bit deeper before I show you the strategy in action. In some instances, you don't even need to be at the event to do it. Now there are several key components to consider here, all offering their own distinct advantage. Sporting location, data entry, satellite links, televised delays, betting platforms, and placement of the bet, to name a few. Sporting location is crucial as it affects bet sizes, coverage, competition for other players using the same strategy, and of course, the speed scoring information is passed on. For example, the men's Wimbledon final will have 50 to 100 other courtside bettors in the crowd attempting to strike the same bet at the same time with this strategy for hundreds of thousands of pounds per game. Whereas a minor football match in say the Chinese Super League will have far less. The downside being it's far harder to get a large bet on the smaller, less appealing events. If it's with a sports book, they'll probably notice the fast bets pretty quickly too, leading to the inevitable account restrictions. Now match side betting on bigger leagues allows for monstrous staking, although the opportunities aren't anywhere near as frequent as sports like tennis. Just think about it, there are hundreds of points where the price will change in a tennis match, whereas a football match might only have two or three goals. The person entering the data offers another advantage too, something else that Joe mentioned in that BBC documentary. I had one in Romania, he had to put his pin code in for every point, because it would lock yeah. him out, yeah, and he couldn't find a way around it. Slow tennis umpires, sleepy football scouts, and betting companies that take too long to update their odds are all perfect exploits. Plus, you'll find some exchange betting markets are effectively unmanaged, meaning that betting on them is a free for all, fastest fingers first, win every time. I'm told that the early days of trackside betting on the horses was bliss. With barely anyone doing it, trackside players could sometimes bet on the winner eight or 10 seconds after the horses had already crossed the line. Sickening amounts of money were made, but more on that in just a moment. It's not just courtside betting though, you can get super fast video streams that update ahead of betting companies and TV delays. It may mean extra computer equipment and purchasing BIS satellite encryption keys, but it's worthwhile to beat the market suspension by a few seconds, especially in the right football markets where exchange bets are massive and very few courtsiders are in attendance. Foreign leagues are renowned for these opportunities. Now, if we go back 10 years, I remember when Sys TV was four or eight seconds faster than traditional racing channels and video streams. There were several exchange betting shops around the country where you could rent a desk, 
to bet ahead of the racing TV and Sky Sports channels. I'm led to believe that some of the most well-known traders even had it installed at home. Now, the hard part is getting big bets on consistently because bookmaker algorithms restrict winning accounts quickly. It's a sad truth, but they only take bets from accounts that bet at bad value. So it's crucial to use a betting exchange to make the big money consistently. But perhaps the biggest problem that we face with courtside betting strategy is getting thrown out. Whilst betting ahead of time delays is not illegal, it is against the terms of buying a ticket and will get you thrown out of events like Wimbledon if you get caught. You see, the venues and their tennis authorities want this live data to themselves. It's big business and they want the cash that comes with it. In 2014, the Australian police were criticised when they attempted to arrest a British courtside spotter. His crime beating the establishment. This is why most of the tennis court side in scene is now controlled by one or two European organisations that routinely send hundreds of people to sporting events every single day. These spotters communicate with a central control room via concealed earpieces and pocket clickers to get the money on without being detected by event staff. People betting at home don't stand a chance of beating them. On speed. When it comes to horse racing, I've heard different stories about people hiding at different furlong markers with radios, paying off neighbouring farmers, flying drones over the course and even erecting cherry pickers on the edge of the track. The amount of money on offer in the following example shows why this is the most lucrative betting strategy possible. With courtside betting, you literally cannot lose. The largest profit and loss statement that I've seen from somebody doing this was £18 million over the lifetime of their account. So let's prove this happens and see the strategy in action. Nope, I'm not going to go to the sports event to find one of these guys. I'm going to show you their money as it's bet into the marketplace. Now looking at the screen, you can see the exchange trading software that I use over on the left, the live feed for Wimbledon via Bet365 live video over on the right, and the flash scores live score tracker in the center there. I say live, it's not live, as you're about to see. Now watch what happens here with Casper Rood during the break point. My software on the left shows the Betfair exchange prices and money available in real time. A few seconds after the game appears to have begun, on the live stream you'll see several thousand pounds get matched and bet into the marketplace, driving the price down on Casper Rood winning the point. Supply and demand moves the betting price in the process on the exchanges and then lo and behold a few seconds later we get to see it happen via the live video stream. Last of all, Flash Score updates the scoreline in the centre there. Now this happened because a courtside spotter at the game called the point for somebody else to bet on it before we see it and that's with the bet placement delays factored in. Now this is how Lloyd made £2,531 in a couple of hours and the guy speaking to him on the phone made over a million that year on the BBC documentary. It's big business that's happening all of the time. Now if you want to see a simple advantage play strategy that anyone can use from home then check this out here in the end screen. It includes all the numbers and actually works. See you next time.